Hi Taurus, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Taurus, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Taurus. So at the bottom of the deck we have the judgment card and this is scorpio energy so this is a card of transformation this is a card of second chances a rebirth answers coming in someone could be giving you clarity and there is an opportunity to have a second chance to give something a check a second chance with someone or this could simply be a second chance giving love a second chance let's see what the rest of the cards have to say Okay, we have the Queen of Cups, Water Energy, the Page of Cups, Water Energy, and the Six of Swords, Air Energy. So there is an energy of healing, forgiveness, understanding, and moving forward, um, going with the flow. There could be a new connection here or someone approaching you with an apologetic energy with the Page of Cups, an emotional expression of feelings, and um, a desire to have a second chance. Um, it does look like someone may be seeking your compassion or they're trying to kind of like tug at your heartstrings um you know this is someone you have a, a lot of feelings for and you care for them and they may be um, expressing their feelings to you as well with the hopes that you guys can have a second chance okay so let's clarify these cards Okay, we have the hanged man in the reverse and this is pisces energy so this is a card of someone who is taking action towards you making their feelings known to you wanting to heal the connection they share with you you've been on this person's mind and in their heart a lot lately with the page of cups they they may have been daydreaming fantasizing about you and they again they want they want a fresh start in love with you okay so let's see we have the queen of swords air energy the death card scorpio energy and the three of pentacles earth energy so yeah they want to repair things they want to focus on building a solid foundation with you the death card being here is again we have a lot of transition energy it's like they would have to restart something from scratch and um this is someone who is expecting that it won't be easy you, you are coming across as you know, this could be someone you gave the cold shoulder to or you cut ties with and they're aware of that. So this person is hoping to receive some sort of compassion from you, but they are also um, not underestimating this Queen of Swords energy. Okay, so um, I'm going to pull out an Oracle card. Okay, we have you are good enough full moon in virgo okay so they do see your worth your value let's see okay we have let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others so you are being advised to kind of get that second opinion or to get support from friends, loved ones, people who care about you, another objective perspective. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have intelligence and mental beauty. Wisdom is the abstract of the past, but beauty is the promise of the future. Okay, so there's definitely someone here who's you have a history with them, and they do want uh, they want to make a promise for a future with you. They do want a second chance because they they struggle to move on from you. They would rather move on from whatever the difficulty, the conflict was, but they want to move on together. Okay, so I'm gonna pull out a card for your advice, Taurus. Okay, 
we have surrender outdated beliefs about yourself. Let go of limiting ideas about yourself that originate from the past. Then you can own your power and soar in your love in your life. So there's a transformation happening in your love life in general. There's a message of needing to see yourself from a new lens, not holding yourself to your past mistakes, and again seeing that you are good enough. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Taurus. I hope you have a really, really good day, Taurus. Bye, Taurus.